Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott. In today's video, we're looking at a course from Wing Fox called Stylized Backgrounds for Animation and 3D Projection. I'll be going through the good points and bad points of this course so you can decide if it suits you or not. The course is currently $80, but you can get a discount if you follow the links in the description, but you can get an extra 30% off if you follow the links in the description and use the code. It's an affiliated link, so you'll be supporting me if you click on that, but this is a completely honest review with bad points, which you'll see as I go through. You can also check out my review playlist for more reviews like this. So first of all, the instructor is Jose Vega, who's got eight years experience in the industry. He's worked for a few big game companies, and although there are some things I don't like about the Wing Fox platform, this is something I do like. They get high caliber instructors from the industry so you learn the industry techniques. So what does the course involve? Well, it's 12 and a quarter hours. It uses Blender and Photoshop. You need a fairly good computer to run it, but that's typical of this sort of thing, especially when using 3D. It's aimed at intermediate to advanced users with artistic skill. I'll talk more about that later, but it's definitely not for beginners hoping to learn the interface and things like that, but it's still useful for beginners to learn the workflows. The course has sections on sketching and planning ideas, modeling and animation within Blender, texturing and lighting within Blender, texture painting within Photoshop, and then 3D projection of those textures onto the model with more information about texturing and particle systems and so on. Now the important thing to note here is that this is a 3D projection technique. This is an important technique to learn because of the speed advantages of producing this kind of project. You can create scenes much more quickly this way, however it has limitations in the fact that you cannot completely pan around your scene and view it from different angles. You have a limited amount of movement before the textures look all stretched and weird. So it's suitable, as the title says, for animations such as cartoons or maybe short sequences with scenes that are viewed from one side. It's really common and used all the time, so don't be put off by the fact that you can only view it from one side, but be aware that this is not for something like games where you run around your environment. So is this course any good? Well, yes, definitely, but it's got some things to be aware of and that I feel are missing to some degree. First of all, it's got great technique, a really good level of knowledge, really nice results as you can see in the background here. They're industry techniques so you know you're learning the right things and not wasting your time. There's a nice lot of detail, but there is again with many of these courses from skilled artists, lots of assumed knowledge and not much in the way of why we do things. Even though this is aimed at intermediate to advanced users, the instructor jumps quickly over things that really could do with a little bit more explanation in my opinion. In the first section, we watch the instructor sketch and talk about his decisions. So it's a lot more like a lecture, but there's very little taught about the technique or how to improve as an artist. So we're getting to know the process behind creating a piece like this, but not so much about the techniques. There's a nice bit on photo bashing, which I thought could be very useful for people to speed up their workflows. But generally, it was more like an overall commentary than any real in-depth detail. I found it very slow as well. I watched every lecture at double speed, although this is something I tend to do with most lectures, but I found myself wanting to even up the speed from there. There is no option, of course, for three times the speed. I'm not sure it would work if there was, but I felt there could have been a little bit more time lapse for the bits that were just experimenting and then slow down for the more detailed explanations. But we see almost the whole process in real time and there's no real editing to speed things up. The section on Blender was okay, but again, there's lots of assumed knowledge and ran through the slightly complex parts a little bit too quickly in my opinion. There's lots of useful tips, and I certainly picked up a few ideas, particularly in the texturing section, I thought that was very good. One thing that people might find frustrating is the labeling of the videos. We have titles like Painting in Photoshop Part 6, but I think far better would have been to have details in the titles so if you're revisiting something, you can navigate around much faster. I also found the render passes section very interesting. This is where we take stuff from Blender and put it into Photoshop. But again, I would have liked to have seen more information and detail on this. And I think it's something that's not commonly talked about. So lots of people would have wanted that information. I feel overall, this is a really great course and well worth it, especially with the discount prices. But like I say, I would have liked to have seen more breakdown of some of the technical aspects of the programs because I imagine many people will either be coming from a Photoshop background wanting to explore 3D more and therefore needing more detail in the 3D program or they might be 3D artists needing to know more about exporting to the art programs and using Photoshop more effectively in their 3D work. 
Having said that, it's really useful to see the full workflow of an excellent piece like this. And going through the whole process, even as a beginner, is important because you can see what you need to learn and sometimes it's more important to know what you don't know so you can find out more about that. So watching the whole process like this, I think is really important. So overall, an excellent course. Well done to Jose Vega and thanks to Wingfox for letting me take a look. Thanks to you out there for watching and I'll see you next time.